welcome viewers please like, comment and subscribe. The Duke of Sussex spoke about the pain and grief he felt following the demise of his mom Diana, Princess of Wales, in a letter to bereaved Navy adolescents to mark Remembrance Day. Prince Harry is a supporter of Scotty's Little Soldiers, a British charity assisting adolescents whose dad and mom have died whilst serving in the armed forces. An army veteran who served two excursions in Afghanistan, Prince Harry has lengthy proven harmony with servicemen and women and their families and continues to be worried with numerous charities, notwithstanding no longer being a working member of the royal family. Hidden sentimental meanings in the back of the royal's remembrance jewels, from customized necklaces to the queen's earrings queen consort, the Princess of Wales and the Countess of Wessex selected, add-ons steeped in significance of Stephanie Bridger Linning as many of us study and replicate on Remembrance Sunday, I desired to write to you and let you be aware of you are all in my ideas and coronary heart today he wrote. We share a bond even except ever assembly one another due to the fact we share in having misplaced a parent. I recognize firsthand the ache and grief that comes with loss and favor you to comprehend that you are no longer alone. He continued. Today and each day, I admire and admire all the guys and girls who have given their lives in carrier of us especially these in your family. I am additionally fairly proud of you for being the great instance in remembering them. The royal signed the letter, with my deepest respect, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. The Duke of Sussex marked the weekend, recognized in America as Veterans Day weekend, in Hawaii, the place he toured the USS Arizona Memorial at Pearl Harbor. Meanwhile, his family, led by using his father King Charles III, took phase in quite a few activities to mark the weekend in the UK. On Saturday night, King Charles, the Queen Consort, the Prince and Princess of Wales, and other senior royals, put on a dignified show at the Festival of Remembrance at the Royal Albert Hall. King Charles and the Queen Consort led the kingdom in remembering the fallen image can also contain officer, person, hat, clothing, military, military officer, adult, formal wear, tie, and accessories on Sunday, the royal family became out in pressure for the annual Remembrance Day carrier at the Cenotaph. The king laid a new wreath, the plan of which will pay tribute to the wreath of His Majesty's grandfather, King George VI, and Queen Elizabeth. The wreath's poppies are installed on an association of black leaves, as is normal for the sovereign, and the ribbon bears the king's racing colors, scarlet, pink and gold. The royal racing hues had been additionally integrated into the wreaths of King George, King George VI and Queen Elizabeth. The queen consort seen the carrier from the balcony of the Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Office building. For the first time, a wreath used to be laid on Her Majesty's behalf through an equerry from the royal household. The Queen Consort's wreath bears Her Majesty's racing colors, inherited from her grandfather, and echoes the wreath of the preceding Queen Consort, Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother. The King and the Queen Consort's wreaths have been produced via the Poppy Factory and are accompanied via handwritten playing cards bearing Their Majesty's new ciphers. The Prince of Wales laid the wreath in the past laid by way of his father, the former Prince of Wales, proposing the Prince of Wales feathers. The wreath bears a new ribbon in Welsh red. The crown's jewels. Taylor meets the antique jewellery doyen who accessorized Elizabeth Debicki. London based, globally famine jewellery professional Susan Kaplan exhibits the piece that was once most challenging to source. The provider at the Cenotaph used to be additionally attended by way of the Princess of Wales, the Earl and Countess of Wessex, the Princess Royal and Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence, the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester, the Duke of Kent and Princess Alexandra. Following the service, the Earl of Wessex took the salute at the march past of veteran organizations on Horse Guards Parade. The Prime Minister was once additionally present, joined by means of his wife, Akshata Murti, alongside with Labour Chief Sir Kerr Starmer and former PMs consisting of Liz Truss, Boris Johnson, Tony Blair and Gordon.